Hello and welcome Aquarius. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly checkup or check in. Seeing what is going on for this week. So Aquarius, you could be doing some traveling um, or possibly just moving forward from a situation. Or travel plans could have actually been um, delayed or postponed. So take that how it resonates. All right. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we do have the tower, so something very unexpected kind of coming in, you know, kind of causing a little bit of um, catastrophe here. But this particular card, you know, it's like you see the smile on her face, so she's not worried about it. She's not afraid of it. She's not scared of it. She's not frustrated or annoyed by it. She's like, it's almost like a blessing in disguise for her. She's just kind of like, you know what? I am thankful for this. Um, now I can rebuild. You know, something here wasn't right. Um, you know, in Aquarius, I keep getting that feeling that something isn't right in a certain situation. And maybe some of you have been kind of, you know, waiting for the right moment to end something or looking for a way out or just looking for a way to kind of start fresh, start over. And so with this tower moment coming in, like I said, something very unexpected. Um, but it does seem to be kind of working in your favor. All right. Okay, now moving forward here, um, we do have ah, you showing up as the world card. So this is, again, closing out cycles, you know, where something ends, we start something fresh, you know, successfully moving forward. All right, and then we have the Knight of Wands, and this is a problem. I think you um, have been kind of stuck lately. I don't think you've been kind of um, taking action. You know, this is a person that wants to pursue their passions, who wants to take an action, who wants to go on an adventure. Um, you know, again, passion, you know, ignited by passion, wanting to pursue a passion, you know, taking that action. And I don't see you doing that. I see you just kind of stuck, kind of waiting for something here. Now, in your current environment, we have a high priestess showing up. So, again, Aquarius, this could be you listening to your own intuition, or this could be you, um, be you kind of, you know, here watching, um, you know, my tarot reading, watching other, you know, people read tarot for you, kind of, you know, seeking guidance, seeking answers. But at the same time, you know, trusting your own intuition, but it's almost like you need some kind of confirmation or you want some kind of confirmation just to say, you know, to kind of give you that okay, or just to say, you know what, what I've been feeling is right you know it's spot on you know this is it this is what I need to do because for some of you like I said I just I keep getting like you're just you're kind of stuck you're waiting for that right time to make that move to take that action and then it comes in so again the um the solution to the problem which you know again staying there not taking action um we do have the king of wands this is coming up with a plan. This is kind of seeing the bigger picture. This is kind of planning out your attack. Not that you're going to be attacking anybody, but, you know, just, again, um, making a plan to, um, in order to take that action to pursue those passions. You know, it's like you're um, not just rushing in on something, you know, hastily. You're just, you're taking some time out. You're being patient. You're plotting this. You're planning this. And then you will take action. All right. <clears throat> now, the outcome is a Seven of Cups, so this could be taking action towards love. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Let me grab some water here. Just a second. Okay. All right, so you could be um, pursuing something as far as love goes here. You know, you see all her options, all her choices she has, you know, kind of laid out before, and she's reaching out for the heart. So this could be, like I said, you know, having to make a decision as far as love goes or relationship goes. Um, you know, that's for some of you, you know, for some of you, this could be having to choose between people, um, possibly having to choose, you know, whether or not you have to travel in order to be with someone, you know, do you want to travel? Do you want to make that move? Do you want to make that type of commitment? Um, you know, it's what I keep getting here too. All right. Because then inside, or yeah, internally you're feeling like the moon card here. So this moon card, you know, it's like you're... There's something you're kind of hiding. This could be, you know, the fear of 
what am I making the right choice? Because like I said, I keep getting like um, somebody needs confirmation here as far as, you know, are they doing the right thing? Are they making the right choice? Um, you know, is it time yet? Should I go ahead? You know, I keep, I just feel the need for some kind of confirmation here. Um, now with this moon card, like I said, this could be, you know, um, this is also kind of causing confusion. Both of these, you know, seven of cups and the moon card, um, illusion, um, but also confusion because, you know, you're, like I said, something here is kind of being hidden from you or you are hiding something from someone else. But then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's just like, you know, it's going to work out. But it's just almost like that fear of, again, needing some kind of like, you know, okay. Or some kind of confirmation. Some kind of um, someone to just say, yes, you're making the right choice. You know, um, Aquarius, usually you're not. <laughs> usually you're pretty confident or you're just, you know gun ho like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. How it works out, it works out. We'll see. If not, oh well. You know, it's like, usually it's not that big of a deal for most. Um, but this particular situation really kind of has you, like I said, really kind of in your head here. But it's like something's going to be coming into light. You know, you're kind of examining things. Like I said, you're taking your time though. So this is something pretty important to you, Aquarius. Hmm. You know, this is like a fresh start, you know, brand new beginning. This is something going back to um, the tower card here. You know, it's making you feel how this ending or this um, almost kind of like chaotic, you know, destructive type ending here has really kind of made you feel pretty happy, pretty excited. You know, it's like, okay, now I can get my fresh new start. Um, let's see, underneath the tower card is the ace of swords too. So it's like you had an aha moment. You know, this particular card, like I said, this tower brought on this Ace of Swords, which is like that aha moment, that clarity, you know, as to where I think it just kind of set everything else where you've just been kind of in your head, really not making a decision. Like I said, I keep feeling like somebody is kind of stuck here, not making a decision, not moving forward, not taking action, you know, just kind of contemplating, really just kind of thinking on things. Um... But like I said, ultimately, it leads to this ace, you know, ace of pentacles, you know, brand new beginning, a new opportunity. It's like you had this aha moment. Um, you know, this could even be, you know, some kind of communication coming in for you. Or, you know, maybe you've been waiting to hear some kind of communication, and that's what you get. Um, this could be having to do with work. This could be having to do with a relationship. Um, yeah, for some of you, I get it's about, like, moving. Hmm. But like I said, this this feels pretty big, Aquarius. Whatever it is that you have um, planned here or are trying to plan out, I should say. You know, it's something that really has you excited. And, you know, you are moving forward, like I said, successfully. This is going to be, you know, a brand new beginning. It's just like almost like you're you're just kind of scared to take this step. You know, you just want some kind of confirmation or something. You're kind of seeking out some kind of answers here. It's like you want to know something before you take this step. You know, it's just, you know, is this right for me? Is this the right time? Is this, you know, whatever the case is that you're seeking out here. And, you know, again, just trust your own intuition, Aquarius. Only you really know for sure, you know, for sure, for certain. But, I mean, it is feeling pretty good to me here. All right, let's get an oracle. So we have affirmation for growth. Yeah. <laughs> so again, knocking down that um, that tower card. Let me grab it one more time. Knocking down this tower card here. You know, that moment of truth, of clarity, of enlightenment. You know, and then the affirmation for growth. You know, going back to this Ace of Pentacles. You know, laying down that foundation, that stability. You know, starting that foundation. That way you can grow on it. You know, like I said, it's going to be here long term. You know, this tower that fell down, this tower that got knocked down or, you know, removed out of your life. Um, you know, something was faulty in it, you know, with the foundation. And so definitely, like I said, this is kind of a blessing in disguise. And I think you feel it too, because it doesn't seem like you are upset by it at all. It's kind of like, almost like a sigh of relief. Like I can breathe, like now I can move forward. And like I said, we do have that affirmation for growth here. All right. 
um, bottom of the deck, we do have give in to passion, which, you know, ultimately, like I said, it feels like you're just planning, you're plotting. And ultimately, I do see you giving into um, into your passion, you know, finally taking action, moving forward to something that's really driving you, something that's really going to be, you know, like I said, a great opportunity, you know, something, um, something big, something long term for you, something you're really excited about. So, all right. Well, Aquarius, that is what I have for you for this week. That was pretty short, sweet, and to the point. Um, but yeah, but great energy. So, you know, hopefully this is your confirmation. Is this is a confirmation or one of many that you need? Whatever it is, hopefully you got the answers that you were kind of seeking. Um, you know, thank you so much for sharing your time with me and for being here. I will see you guys all again soon. Um, have a great rest of the week.